Look at my hubby though. You're looking good. Get that Wakanda on. Hey, hey. Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel, and thank you as always for following my journey. It is Saturday morning. It's about what 9 a.m. now? Almost 9 a.m. It's quarter to nine, and I just thought I would do a day in my life vlog because I have a pretty jam-packed day. That's why I'm getting my face beat by Wakeshon Zano, <laughs> who's like, "Don't show my face, girl. Don't show my face." But um. I just thought I'd do that because I have a pretty jam-packed day. I am actually supposed to be heading out to Zen Gardens in a bit because I'm going to be part of a panel discussion as a panelist. It's one of those discussions that I'm very passionate about having, but I'll have more information later. Then we go for a movie premiere in the evening for Disconnect the Movie. I'm so excited about that. It's a Kenyan rom-com. It's got an all-star cast and the director Tosh Kitonga um, invited Eddie and I, so we're just looking forward to going there and kind of like supporting everyone. And the reason I'm getting my makeup done, I think you guys have noticed that in my videos, my makeup is very laid back. I don't actually do anything other than eyeliner, brows, and lip. I don't put any foundation or concealer. I just feel more comfortable going about my day to day that way, and I just do my makeup when I feel like I have a full day. Can you hear who room? Who doesn't want to shower? That's the war that's happening out there. But I will go and intervene because I'm that mom. <laughs> so I thought I would have my makeup done because I have events from 10 all the way till night time and I know I'm not going to have a chance to come. And if I am, I just feel like I want to look fresh faced and just look good on the day. So I will see you guys. Alrighty, so this is the final look. Um, that's my outfit. I have some sneakers on as well and I'm wearing a top and tights and just super 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 comfortable we're running a little late we need to head out to zen gardens just now so guys i finally made it to zen gardens look it's still so pretty it's honestly for me one of the prettiest spaces but it also holds a bit of nostalgia for me because this is actually where i had my baby shower in 2015 before I had Huru and now he's running around and I'm expecting another one so it's very exciting for me but we're here for a very important reason which is um, a panel discussion that's going to be videoed for the She Matters platform. I'm just about to meet Jacqueline who's the founder of She Matters. Find out more about the organization, find out more about why we're here today and then after the discussion I'll probably be able to do a little bit of a debrief and leave the links in the description box below on how you can support She Matters and the kind of work that they do. I'm with Jacqueline, who is our host for today. Um, Jacqueline is from She Matters. I hope we're both in front. Yeah, okay. So yeah, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about She Matters and why we're here today. So She Matters is a community for survivors of sexual violence and friends and supporters who want to join in unity with survivors. So today we are here for our first She Matters meetup. Okay. We are essentially taking women from different backgrounds and speaking about our experiences and the topic for this meetup is consent. Which is such a crucial topic and like, mm -hmm. I just feel like it's so timely because there's so many misconceptions around consent and it's become a huge issue because that's why you see so many more cases of assault being reported. Yeah. I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of education that needs to happen around consent so I think exactly. it's very timely. Is She Matters based um, in Kenya and what other countries? Um, so I'm Canadian. Okay. I started She Matters while uh, living here. Okay. And then now it's turned into something sort of international. Oh, so great. I have women from different parts of the world who contact us and who follow our social media. Okay. Um, it started out just as a, a web platform mm -hmm. essentially and now it's growing into something bigger. Okay. So. Well, good for you. That's Thank really you. great. Okay, so we'll be going into the discussion as soon as the other panelists arrive and then I'll probably give a debrief after that. So, thank you. Looking thank forward you. to it. Okay. The Me Too uh, movement opened up a lot of 
mm -hmm. problems, but it, it helps a lot. So we need to push more Momentum forward, yeah. and, be, and say it's okay, like talk. All these places that we've seen like some really positive movements, how do we take bits and pieces and make it relative to the situation that we're in and, and, and fight and advocate for that kind of a change? Yeah. And rather than saying that, oh my gosh, you know, we have these cultural issues yeah. that are going to be really hard to break down. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, these, it's possible because it's happened elsewhere yeah. and it will happen here. It's as long as you know someone cares, there's a community of people who care, like what you're doing with Freely and Hope, they, your girls understand that they have someone who cares for them, they yeah. have someone who's advocating and for them. I have so much hope in the young people of Kenya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So much hope. Because we work with high school and university students, all survivors of sexual violence, and as they go through their own healing process, years okay yeah. i've been doing this work for eight years and some of them are just coming out now as they go through their own healing process and recognize that inherent sense of dignity that's when they're like hey this happened to me i don't want no other little girls mm, to exactly. suffer the same violence that i did and i think that's the most powerful thing you can do is putting that sense of purpose and um, responsibility in a young person we just need more advocates as well so we just finished the panel discussion that you just saw moments ago. Probably one of the most empowering ones that I've ever done. I'm gonna jump into some lunch, get home and quickly get dressed and go for the movie premiere. It's red carpet, so I gotta be on my A game. So we are on our way to the premiere of uh, Disconnect the Movie. Look at my hubby though. You're looking good. Get that Wakanda on. Hey, hey. This guy is trying to outshine me. We might do the red carpet separately because we didn't agree on this. But um, yeah, I hope we make it on time. It's going to six and I think they say it's 6.30. So just trying to beat the traffic now and make it to Diamond Plaza. We have arrived at Diamond Plaza too. However, we're a bit early. I don't even want to show Eddie because he'll give me that I told you so face. So we are at a Indian restaurant, about to have a little dinner. It's quite pretty, yeah. We're trying to order some Indian um, so that I don't end up starving mid-show. So that's what we're gonna do. And then hopefully we'll be here maybe till just about seven-ish. And then when we go up, I'm really hoping that they will be ready. Bajia and chicken, this is so wrong, but it's so yum. Look at this one, sweating from all the chili he's eating. I won't even try. I'm, I've just made it to the premiere of Disconnect and I've met these lovely ladies and one guy. Hi! <laughs> Hi guys! She looks so pretty! I'm trying! Hi, hello. Hello. So you guys also here for the premiere? Yeah! Okay, are you excited? Yeah. Look at how extra bright Babu is. <laughs> it's so good to see you look amazing. Look who I bumped into! Is it Alpha Beta or Alpha Beta? They have such an amazing YouTube channel and they are growing their family. Oh yeah. Bumps in the house. <laughs> yeah, very cool to see you guys and you do an awesome job on YouTube. Thank you. Just thought I would feature you. Okay. I see someone else I know. <laughs> what is wrong with Nadel and her height? I'm like, so no, my, height, my height today, I have a camera. Wait, first of all, her outfit is so bomb. No, 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 I'm so like... No, you look amazing. minutes past midnight 
We just got home from the premiere of Disconnect the Movie. I kind of have to talk softly because our son is sleeping and I even let down my bun, guys. I am just so tired. I've been up since, what, 6 a.m.? But it's been an amazing day and I'm just so glad I could be part of that movie premiere. First of all, a huge congratulations to Toshki Tonga for directing another fantastic film. That was a very impressive film. We had a lot of laughs. I just want to commend the actors, you know, from Brenda Wairimo to Kate Actress, as she calls herself on Instagram. She was hilarious in the film. Piera Mack, girl, um, Patricia Kihoro, Pascal was so good, Nick Mutuma. Um, there's probably a few people I haven't mentioned, but generally, you guys were fantastic jazz. It was so good to see jazz being history as well. So looking forward to many more. You know me guys, I'm, it's all love when it comes to great Kenyan products and services. I'm like here to, you know, big them, you know, just tell them big up and keep doing your thing. We had a really good night. It was a long, long day. So I am about to turn in, but I didn't want to do that before saying the movie was great. And thank you for watching uh, the day in my life vlog. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. Okay guys, thank you so much. I am about to take a shower and hit the sheets. I am so sleepy. Mwah.